in this video we will solve a commonly asked sql question the question is show the name of the manager for each employee in the same row for that we will be using the table employee and let us query the employee table and see the schema and then i will explain the question once again let us execute this query so we have a table called employee which has four columns which is id which is the primary key of the table next is the full name and the third column is salary and the final co column it final column is the manager id so the manager id represents the id of the manager and manager id can be mapped to the same id if i take the first record john with the employee id 1 has the manager id 3 so john's manager is tom because his id is 3 so what we have to find from the question is show the name of manager for each employee in the same row so in the same row we have to insert one more column with the name of the manager that is what we have to find here and the result set should contain four columns which are employee id employee's name manager id and manager name here we have a single table to answer this question so the concept we are going to use here is self join in self join what we are going to do is we are going to link the table to itself in order to use the self join table must have a column x and that column should act as the primary key here we have id which act as the primary key we can consider this as x and a different column y which we can map to the corresponding x column here that is manager id column so we can join the table with itself using id and manager id now let us write a query to find the result so we'll start with select star from the table employee because we know the table name and we are going to join the table to the same table and we can give an alias name for both the tables the first table i'm going to call the same name as employee and the second table i'm going to call as manager table and i'm joining the table based on the two columns which are id and manager id and from the employee table i'm going to take the manager id employee dot manager id equals and from the second manager table i'm going to take the symbol id because corresponding to the manager id i have to get the employee name from the second table so i will match the manager id from the employee table and symbol id from the manager table manager dot id now let us run this query and see the result now we have got the result which has total in total eight columns which has id full name salary and manager id from the employee table and id full name salary and manager id from the manager table so it is given in the question that the result set should contain four four columns only which is employee id employee name manager id and manager name so we have the first three columns from the employee table which are employee id employee name and manager id so let us query that those three tables first that is we have employee dot id from the first table and i'm giving the name as emp underscore id same as the question the second column is full name of the employee that is also taken from the first employee table employee dot full name as emp underscore name the third column is manager id which is also taken from the first employee table because we have we already have the column there manager id here i am referring to this employee table just to make it clear i am once again explaining that now finally 
we want the manager name so we know that we have joined the employee table and the manager table so which is obviously the same table but now we have to get the manager name that we can take from the second table so this is the manager name so we'll take from manager dot full name as manager underscore name here also i am giving an alias name as manager underscore id now let us run the query and see what is the result now we got the result with the required column which are employee id employee name manager id and manager name so we know that the employee john has his manager tom jane's manager is also tom tom's manager is and and finally jeremy's manager is john so this is how we implement self join in sql similar questions can be based on parent child relationship and finding some other hierarchies also so we can apply same logic there also only thing is the column names might change but the logic remains the same thank you